It's thawing in most places as we go to press, but what a time we've all had in the last five weeks. How many sheep perished on Dartmoor and other exposed countrysides, it's too early to know yet. At last the coal, thank heaven, is getting through, but not before power cuts, gas cuts and fuel famine had made sufferers of all of us. We aren't equipped in Britain for a long spell below freezing. With deliveries to houses out of the question in many parts, thousands of folk made their way to the coal yards with anything on wheels they could lay their hands on. And it'll be a long time before every load on order has been delivered. Even paraffin's in short supply. In ordinary times, they badger us to buy it. When we desperately wanted some, we were unlucky. She may be carrying the can in one way, but what a break. No school. They'd run out of fuel, too. Then came the water shortage, frozen pipes everywhere. We're so used to having as much as we like on tap. The idea of having to queue up for a mere trickle would have been unsinkable if it hadn't been stark reality. The most pathetic sufferers were the old people, many of them living alone, staggering through frozen snow just for a kettleful. Improvise. That was often the only way. You had to have hot food at any cost. Thaw come quickly. You could almost see Towser thinking it. It's come to something when football has to pack up and there's no hope of winning a fortune on the pools. To the rescue came the ghost squad, Lord Brabazon presiding over the panel of experts, deciding which way the matches would have gone if they'd been played. Four old internationals and a referee, one, two, X, one, two, X. So while each brain was buzzing like a bee, the noble chairman had a cup of tea. It's made one thing clear, we don't need footballers. The pool's on the panel and we're sitting pretty. The local councils aren't, though. Faced with their biggest bill for clearing snow, they only know one way to turn, to put up the rates. That is, pass the buck to you and me. We might have guessed it. But what can you do with all this snow? Well, make a fire and then burn it. Now the thaw has come, are we prepared for floods? After battling with frozen points and signals for a month or more, are the poor railways threatened with this? No question of trains running through that lot. It means staying at home or going to work on a speedboat.